My heart is deep in the country, but I live for the city. Why don't you promise to me devotion forever? Cast all your fears aside. Say you will. Say you will be mine and love me until the end of time and help me help me grind the spring of life we're on a ship of fools and this nasty voyage okay Murph now now Lily's here we're gonna sit in Josh's other chair songs from the big chair Show, show. All right, so we have the Nobel Peace Prize and the favorites. Kim Jong Un. Well, Mick Murph went behind a door, and my cat Billy, the cat that I don't know how old she is, maybe she's about seven. But um, she came, she came here, and uh, she just didn't leave. She was she was down a house down the street. It was like when I was wrapping up from, uh, from all the cat rescue. I just, uh, all the people that were helping me at one time, they just got out of the business or something. I think the economy, we always kept on hearing stuff about the economy, the economy. And there was a time where, like, you know, nobody, you know, it was hard for people to, to get animals. There was a certain period. And uh, I remember it. Don't exactly know exactly what it was wasn't too far off but um i just remember that it was one of the things why uh like like renee was getting out of it that's tough you know people were cutting back they were cutting back and i guess you know we had the speech like you know the biggest recession depression since uh the, the, the biggest recession depression and all that kind of stuff getting told all this stuff might you know you have to all cut back a little bit you know, but we're going to make it. We're going to move forward. You know, we all just got to chip in. We all got to <clears throat> do our part. You know, help one another, love one another. It's true. It's true. We've got to carry each other. All right, back over to my chair. I don't know. I just had to get up there for a second because I want to just figure out what exactly I'm doing here. So the, the three top, yeah, I said Kim Jong-un, the guy from South Korea, I don't know, Seoul maybe. And yours truly, Whoopi's favorite, you know who, 45. 45. You know, there was, when my mom used to play bingo, there was this, uh, was this guy, it was, I don't know, it was at the, jeez, Harbinian maybe, something like a Harbinian Hall. I uh, have to ask. But I remember as a, you know, as a teenager, when I used to go to bingo, when I first got my license, me and my buddies used to go down, I used to get into the car, and we used to go joyriding. You know, she played bingo, and we'd park it. Probably, I mean, we tried to get the same, sometimes we couldn't get the same spot. And uh, she, was, she, she didn't expect, expect, suspect, suspect me at the time but I mean because she was like kind of slow at things you know I don't know it just it didn't concern her you know she just she said it felt weird but me and Katie were getting in the car I could have sworn we we parked over it I don't know but then it went on for a while and I think uh I think she figured it out figured it out figured something out you know I should probably figure it out because people were they told her the reports you know it's communities well uh close community so like people would say you know i seen your son like doing like hot rod things in the city like you know hot rod and like you know my dad he would like you know he's like i don't understand like every time i bring the car down like you know it needs a new transmission you know it's like he, the guy at the shop saying what do you do hot rod this now at the time the fad there was you rev it up in neutral and just drop it and drive and, and the wheel spin and you get your jollies. But anyways. 
looking at the time here we did our opener there I hope it helps but um, I just really feel as though there's just a lot of things that happen in this this whole situation that um that are very like questionable at the least and now we have everyone crowding around you know senators congress people just crowding around and that that's not gonna end up being too good you know if if that's the new the new norm you just you see somebody you know and they just crowd around they scream at them but you know getting back to that time where there was a time you know where people were just like you know it's just things are not moving for me you know working three jobs doing this and they talk about 15 an hour and this and that and then those years you know all the incidents you know the police brutality and the cops and this and that you know the minute, the minute it happened the person was guilty you know doesn't matter you know if there was a trial or anything it's just doesn't matter if you know that's the training all that kind of stuff I mean these things need to be talked about there was a police officer yesterday shot and it ain't, it ain't in the news why why so many things happen that just ain't in there is that right In the year of equality, in the year of Me Too, in the year of equal pay, in the year of diversity, in the year of all this stuff, in the year of helping one another, in the year of forgetting, in the year of moving on, in the year of, you know, let's stop all this. I mean, don't we want to, like, cast fears and hypocrisy into the, the river of shame you know don't we just want to get all that that fear and that anger and that hate and just walk down and everyone feeling the same thing you have nothing to worry about nothing to worry about everybody has just had it they just Say, I kowtow. I kowtow. Let's start working together. You know, everyone got rich around us and everything. All, you know, all these speeches, all these, these, you know, these years here. Like I said in the opener, like, I, I, you know, you walk. I mean, when I first did this show, I felt like I was in the 70s. And really, that's why I started walking back Carter. The first, when I first went out, I said, you know, here we are, the Scary Jerry Show, look out, street interviews, this, that. Started looking around, I said, man. But I thought it was the easy pickings. I said, you know, I grew up around here, and I know there's some characters and all that. You know, but, but by that time, you know, they're, they're gone. But, like I said, in the, you know, in the opener about the cat, you know, you say, yourself, is that it? Did he just have a mom and a dad, and that's it? You know, was there something before that? Is there a long line, bloodline, or whatever we want to say, you know, genetics line? It's like with humans. Does it stop with the first human? According to science and all that, I mean, what, 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 what do they teach? What are the doctrines? What is there? Is there truth? Our truth, what does our truth become? But, Having said that, having said all that this morning, everything. I mean, don't don't you want a like a fair trial? I mean, don't you want that if it was you, if it was your brother, if it was your, you know, if it was your father, if it was your friend, if it was your husband, if it was your nephew. Wouldn't you just say, like, I know him? You know? Doesn't sound like him. Or maybe he did. Maybe he did it. Okay? You have to have concrete evidence of it. This is something, you know, you just... I mean, whatever the case, his life is ruined right now. 
literally, literally ruined. Both of them are. You know, and we can sit here and blame. You know, whose fault was it? I sort of did that. I said, you know, how come she didn't get the letter and all that? But if we had a different system in place, you know, where uh, we eliminated all the the bad things, like I was talking about yesterday in the show. I mean, bad things do happen. But how can we prevent that? How can we get the message out? I mean, we're, surely we're not going to stop all of them, but there's a few things we can start working on. <laughs>